Hey guys, it's Stacy, and today I have a spoiler-free review for you guys, and that review is on Stealing Snow by Danielle Page. I recently read this book, and I wanted to talk about it because I have mixed feelings about it, but let's get into it. This book follows 17-year-old Snow, and she has spent her life in a psychiatric hospital, and in this hospital, she's made a best friend named Bale, and she's in love with him, and one day, her and something happens between her and Bale, and he ends up hurting her, but she knows he would never actually hurt her. And, and then there's this mysterious guy who shows up claiming to be like a nurse, telling her tales of this faraway land that she's their salvation. And so it goes from there and she ends up in a world where they, she supposedly from and it, it's, I really love the atmosphere of this book. Like, I really liked the world. I don't know if the psychiatric hospital setting was um good rep in this book um one of the nurses was really good I think it was like okay rep I don't know if it was top notch but it was okay and then so she goes into this land she meets several different people she meets a boy named Kai and then she meets another boy named what was his name Jagger and she meets a sea witch who's telling her all of these prophecies and this book is a ride like a ride i wasn't expecting much going into it i thought it'd be just like a really fun ya fantasy that i'd forget about later on but i really hope there's going to be a sequel to this but this was pub published in 2016 so i don't know but the ending left off on a place that i really want a sequel but this book was a ride i loved snow she was very much in my opinion, an unreli unreliable narrator, because you didn't know what she was going to do. The only thing she really cared about in this world was Bale and finding him and saving him, and I love that. Like, she doesn't give a rat's ass about some prophecy, and I thought that was so much fun. But one of my main problems with this book was that Bale, Jagger, and Kai were all potential love interests. Um... There was chemistry with all of them. I, I, there's that's too many love interests in my opinion. I, like, Bale was enough for me. Maybe one other one, but no, there was too many. You never really knew their motives, especially Jagger's, and it's just there doesn't need to be like a love square. There can be like a love triangle, maybe, but like, come on, three love interests. We didn't need that many. But other than that. The story was fun. It did drag on for a bit, um, in my opinion, even though it's a pretty short book. Some parts dragged and it took longer to get through it. But in the ending, I thought the ending, the choices at the end were, I liked them because that's very, it's very different for a YA book, but then I was like, borderline, like, parents, like, this is a part of it was like borderline child abuse. But it's interesting, you meet a character that you is very much a twist i did not expect it at all like it took me completely by surprise but overall i enjoyed this book i wanted more from it especially the ending i wanted more from the ending and i just the love interests got to me but yeah if this interests you definitely read it because it was fun it was definitely a fun ride and if there is ever going to be a sequel i will read it but the love interest but yeah i like snow i like the world i thought it was very well developed and very well there was a lot of world building in this book and i love that so yeah definitely check this out if it interests you so that is it for today's video i will see you guys in another one bye